I got, you mind me singing my bear song? And sing it. Fuzzy bear on Montana mountaintops <laughs> cooking marshmallows on the prairie. Fire! What's going on Coyote Pack and welcome back to Base Camp Montana Edition. That's right. Again, real fire, real mountains, and today, real marshmallows. Yes. Are you guys ready? You guys can hear Mario? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let's off here. Right. Let's grab some. We got some uh, there you nice go. skewers. Thanks, buddy. Nice retractable. This is like fancy. I know. Um, we didn't even have to carve these with sticks. Yeah, yeah. Mark. Thank you. You want your hands, right, Mario? Of course. Here, give me one more. Go. Got to get one out there for the camera team. There you go. <laughs> Mario, I'm down one. Here you go, bud. All right. All right. Hey, 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 easy. I get ferocious for marshmallows, and deservingly so, because today's episode is all about somebody who actually loves marshmallows. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, he's got a big sweet tooth. Big, 750 pounds big. A grizzly big. That's right, guys. We're going back to the episode called Grizzly Attack, which was amazing. We got to work with Adam, a 750 pound male grizzly bear, to show you guys what to do or not do if you ever find yourself in that worst case scenario where you come upon a grizzly bear in the wild. So, cook s'mores now or after we do the work? No, Mario, stop. No, first we have to do our work and then we can have our snacks. So let's review the video and then it's s'mores time. All right, All right. sounds like a plan. Here we go. This episode of Breaking Trail is brought to you by the Buy Power Card. From Gotta have those campaigns sometimes, they really help. Well, Chevrolet, it's not easy to work with a grizzly bear or cheap. <laughs> There's your pine cone shot. Peterson. Back up real quick. Hold on a second. Oh, Just so you guys know, oh, Mark loves to try to get pine cones in shots. But yeah. it's got to be the perfect pine cone. It has to be the perfect frame. So we figured, you know what? Let's get an epic pine cone shot. And it kicked off the grizzly yeah, bear. It, it's a little bit of a process. You got to yeah. scour the whole forest for the perfect pine cone. That's a good looking pine cone. In the right beam of light. I'm pretty proud of that one. I've, I've got some other ones. Yeah. That shot may have won the award. Right? Is that the reason? Well, let's not. We'll talk about the oh. award afterward. Okay. And we'll do that while we're, while we're cooking s'mores. Well, was a good shot, though. Thanks. I'm Howdy Peterson. With Selfie Beauty stick in action. Look at that. And we tend to forget that in the wilderness, we are no longer at the top of the food chain. Oh, oh buddy. I tell you what. Some of those shots, I mean, it, epic. So pause it for just a epic. second. We're gonna get into how we got those shots, but getting bear shots is a lot tougher than yeah. probably anybody thinks. It's a oh, lot yeah. of movie magic, and it takes a lot of courage, right? It, it's yes. actually a little dangerous. A little Very dangerous. dangerous. Absolutely. Keep rolling. <laughs> okay. And a lot of marshmallows. You see, we got the bear tracks in the in the animation here with some elephant tracks, old uh -huh. logo. Retro logo. There's no wilderness greater than the backcountry of Montana. The, the clouds epic were epic this day. Yep. That is home to some of North America's most incredible animals. Every year, thousands of adventurous oh, Actually, those shots are from right back here yep. on property. Escaping the confines of everyday life. It's the first time we ever put a specialty camera being underneath a car. Mm -hmm. I remember being like, man, I hope we don't hit the camera because encounter. we only had and one specialty camera. That's the camera that's on the front of my selfie stick. Bear country. Yeah, actually pause that right there. Go back to that shot. What's cool is that like, that's a that's a real sign. We didn't put that there. We didn't print this. And nope. hang we were, it up on something. We Those hiking. are everywhere. Do you think people realize that you're actually in the shot? You see it over here in the corner, yeah. you're like walking by. It's how, like a Where's Waldo shot. How many shot. out there saw that? If, if you really saw that before I mentioned it, tell me in the comment section. I'm curious to see how many people pick up on those little details. Where's Waldo? Where's yeah. Coyote? Yeah. But yeah, we were hiking and we we saw that and we had to read it and obey the you know what yeah. the sign was saying to be safe. For you is a common instance that can happen when hiking out here in the back country of Montana. But you're actually looking that at that. Pause right there. Pause right there. That, that was epic. Yeah, that shot, go back to that shot. Yeah. I mean, Adam, he's roaring, and you got yeah. Coyote there with a the hat. Like, that's just epic. I, I remember we actually printed those out and made some like, mm -hmm. cards and yeah, stuff. Yeah, we had some yeah. cool, cool photographs and screen grabs from that, and I'm really close to that bear. Yes. With, like, mouth full open, giving you that display, and uh, it's it's nerve-wracking, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, a little hornet friend hanging yeah, out here. Yeah, that's so okay, it's only a two on the insect scene. We're thing. out here, obviously, outdoors, and we have uh, some yellow jackets that are attracted to the marshmallow. Yeah. So, just, you know, if this becomes a sting segment, yeah, well, that's okay. Well, we already okay. did that episode, so We'll be good. opportunistic. Well, Mark needs to get stung. What about you? No, you. We'll let Coyote pick. Let's keep it focused on the bears, guys. <laughs> here is Adam. Now, Adam was raised in captivity, and he's a bear that's used for educational purposes, 
and as an ambassador for his species. <laughs> How nervous were you right there? Pretty nervous. That's the closest I've to ever been to a grizzly bear. First time I ever worked with a bear of this size, or any bear for that so matter. Scenario number one, and best case for you, is that you stumble upon a grizzly bear and it doesn't see you. Stop. This has happened to you. Quiet. Well, they, we've Back done the real slowly. thing. Yeah. I've, I've used this exact scenario before in the wild. Use your own advice, huh? Yep. You turn a corner and all of a sudden it's you and a grizzly bear. You see the bear and the bear sees you. Now this is the most dangerous situation. I love that shot be. there of his eyes. He's like, oh, I'm watching you. To do with humans. Look how well it blends into the environment. Yeah, it really looks, looks amazing there. That's Boy that's bear. a good one to talk about. So that roar ah, right there. Movie magic. Yeah, let's 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 do it one more time. Did Adam really make that roar? Adam does not make that roar. That's no. a huge misconception about all bear films. That's right. Uh, in order for the trainers to get them to open their mouths in a non-aggressive way, it's actually food induced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Basically, you wave a marshmallow in front of Adam's face. And he opens his mouth because he's gonna catch that marshmallow. That's yep. right. And, and he, he does get it. He does get it, yeah. yeah. He gets a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Adam made a lot of marshmallows that That's day. That's right. Sure, but as Mark mentioned, you see tons of films or documentaries where they add in that sound effect after the fact. Mm -hmm. Bears actually don't roar. Not unless they're really angry and aggressive. If a bear right. is roaring at you in your face for real, you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, so, and that's not something that you want to happen when you're making a video about educating people. No. We, we certainly don't want to antagonize the bear to get it to roar. So it's a little movie magic. Thought we'd clue you guys in on yeah. how we did that. Well, and the care and the comfort that goes through making something like this so that the crew is safe and the animal yeah. is safe is of the utmost importance. Yeah, Adam was never upset during the filming. He no. was actually very happy and getting tons of marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa bear, whoa bear, whoa bear. If that bear, bear. feels threatened, I love that perspective there. Walk back mm -hmm. up into the forest. Once you know that the bear is out of eyesight, you huff it to your car or wherever it was that you came from. I think he's looking for a marshmallow right there, actually. Now, the You're always nervous when there's a bear on set. Oh and man, it's just... bear advances. You are never having a 750 pound animal next to you so is quite intimidating. Uh, right. Now, a lot of what happened there, Coyote? I got up a little bit. Bloop. Adam's swatting at you. How was that done? That's one of Adam's commands. What's amazing is that Adam has actually been featured in a number of different famous movies and also television commercials. He, just like you would train a, a show dog or a, a you know a, a canine used working with a police unit, these bears are so smart you can actually train yes. them. So he had different movements that like they could do this or do this, and he would go woo, woo, like that and, and swing his paws. He would put his ears back. Amazing how smart he was. Yeah, and I think Adam was so well behaved, so well trained that, and, and you tell me if, how you felt, but it, to me, it almost like it was Adam was like a big dog. Yeah. After a while, like it, it was like you kind of like lost the sense of like intimidation because he was so well behaved. I did. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> lose. Well, Dude, when you're when you're on the ground like that, that bear is literally about four feet from me, sure. swiping his paws with full on bear claws. You're. I was super nervous to do he, that. You know. He was so big, his presence was so big, and sometimes when he was doing his commands, yes, it's intimidating, but then he's got this like look in his eyes and his ears are kind of like normal. He, he does look, you know, gentle, uh, but you don't want to get too close. <laughs> I got close, super close. We could tell. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. And that, and that noise there that you hear, hey, that's real. Yeah. He was actually making that noise. Pack, throw it to the bear and try to distract it so that you can get away. Bad this idea. Pack on your back, this is your barrier. Between That's what most people think. Throw your backpack at the bear. Like a distraction. You do not want to throw your backpack at the bear. Position as quickly as possible. Get down here like this. Tuck in. Press your arms against your legs, and most importantly, get your hands behind. Oh, your I remember getting those shots. So that's the closest. That's the closest. That so actually, hold, 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 hold there on that. So you see this when he's like there. I'm holding that specialty camera. That's how we got some of those shots with like that drool coming down. So I'm holding a camera next to my face. Yeah. One of the most nervous situations I've ever been in. That's bare nose yeah. and jaws up against your neck and your head. Look how yeah. big his his muzzle is next to my head. And you said you could feel him. Does it happen on you. in the video where it knocks your hat off? Because I remember a couple. Do we pause or, or uh, cut those? I don't remember if that's in there, but it is in some takes where like yeah. he would br brush my hat off and he's sniffing around. I mean. The size of that bear's head next, my entire head could fit in his yeah. mouth if he wanted to. I mean, that's like Revenant style right yeah. there. Yeah. I don't think Leo used a real bear, bear though. Bear feels that the no. Is eliminated, I used a real bear, Leo, just, just saying. That was my favorite now, shot. You might take a couple bites, you might take a couple swipes. But using this that tactic, shot, the these were so tough to get. By about 90%. You can actually, hold on. That's kind of funny. You can see here, 
See that little mustache? Yeah, yeah it's from all the marshmallow. There's a marshmallow mustache right there. a marshmallow mustache, marshmallow right, there. mustache right there. But he looks yeah. so angry and aggressive there. Yeah. And again, getting those shots, um, what we did is multiple camera angles, um, actually the specialty cameras out sort of on sticks, mm -hmm. and they would command Adam to do these swipes. We kept him from a low angle. And a couple times he hit, he hit the camera. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. he was having a blast. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's not like a stick to hit. Actually, the sticks had a little marshmallow on mm -hmm. the end of them. So kind of like this. Right. Can you swipe at him? Survival by about 90%. Oh. Wow. How did uh, Adam's breath smell? Look at that set of teeth. Like marshmallows. <laughs> I just gave you three great tactics for surviving a bear encounter, but there is one other thing that could save your life. Bear spray. Bear you spray. Never have a country without it. If you have a bear encounter, it is one of the safest things you can take with you into the backcountry, but you're going to be noses. real close to that bear to have to use that bear spray. That's a last resort. Yeah. Sort of worst case scenario. Unscathed. I think avoiding the attack <laughs> altogether is the yeah. best yeah. play. Paying attention to all the warning signs or when you're hiking, being groups, things like that. Being that could loud. Actually, yes. Singing songs. Yeah. You like to sing songs. I sing lots of songs. Yo, bear on the mountaintop. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> Bears use their noses to follow their prey. What I liked about this episode, this is one of the first ones we did where we then transitioned from just like experience into like educational presentation. Made this episode a little more, um, a little more, a little more girthy. I have gave it more substance. Yeah, this is like a very real moment in the video where. Adam wasn't really supposed to be like coming closer to you, using yeah. the grass, and you can see when he moves his paw closer how uncomfortable you get. Watch this. Now look at this. These quick, Watch. quick moves. To where they <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, You're like, oh boy. <laughs> so what? You've been wondering what is Adam eating here? He's actually eating the grasses. They, he yeah. loves to just chop down on these sweet grasses. Yeah. They're omnivores, right, Mario? Yeah, yeah grizzlies are omnivores. One feature about this bear that is incredibly impressive. Is those front paws? He's huge. Enormous. And at the ends, Massive and the thing that's important to note is that Adam is 750 pounds as a grizzly bear. Now this is sort of the the lower uh, United States grizzly bear variety. You go further north into Alaska and you get into like the Kodiak bears. They're well over a thousand pounds. Oh yeah, sure. They you get bears that are bigger than that for sure. Of a grizzly bear. The grizzlies also have incredible hearing, and that's why you don't often see bears in the wild. No, nope. because they can hear you coming from way more away. afraid of you than than you really should be of them, unless you stumble upon one. Sure. Look at him; he just nestled down in the grass. Time, their territory range from central. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Our editor Chris actually put this together. Yeah. A nice little territory, territory shot. They've been pushed to near extinction here in the lower 48. Only 800 grizzlies still live here in Montana, and about 600 in Wyoming. All of whom live in Yellowstone National Park. Yeah, bears. Completely awe-inspiring to be in the presence of a bear. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> look so at him. Big. He's just like sitting there. It's something that hopefully you never find yourselves in. He did sort of do that Winnie the Pooh sit sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And, and he would scratch himself. I remember he kind of just starts scratching himself. Peterson, be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you He's on like, the next more marshmallows. Yeah, more marshmallows. <laughs> Are we done yet? If you thought that yeah, man, I wish we could even go back and do another Grizzly episode yeah. with, like, an epic voiceover outro. I'd love to just, like, get to work with Adam again, take him out to the wild, and really spend some time getting some epic B-roll shots of him just acclimating and, and interacting with the environment. And again, for Adam to go out, we were quite a ways away from where Adam's actually kept in his enclosure, and that's his natural sort of routine, to go out, explore, eat berries, eat grasses. Great exercise Some exercise for him, for him yep. Well, that's pretty cool. Definitely one of the most epic episodes we've ever made. It is cool that it came in the first season of Breaking yeah. Trail. We went from snapping turtles to grizzly bears. Yeah. It's pretty big. I, it, it definitely set the bar. I mean, it was by far the most ambitious video of season one that we tackled. And, you know, it also won us a pretty cool award. Yeah. Mario, do you remember that? Yeah, it's an award-winning segment. Emmy award-winning segment. Emmy award-winning segment. It's before all the other awards, very first one. Well, we didn't even have 100,000 subscribers yet on the channel, so this was pre-silver button, pre-gold button, pre-diamond button, and went for the big trophy first in Emmy. Yeah, why not? Cool. Why not? Yeah. Now, speaking of uh, big things, I think it's about time to roast these marshmallows. That's right, I would say that the work is done other than the outro. You guys ready for that? Yeah, let's do that. I'm Coyote Peterson. And I'm Mark Vins. I'm Mario Decoa. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next base camp adventure. It's s'mores time. So do you burn yours? Do you like to go for a, a really like nice and even roast? Hot diggity dog I do. I like these marshmallows to burn. This is Montana fire. <laughs> nice and goofy. I'll tell you what you don't want to do is shake this marshmallow. Same way you wouldn't want to shake a bear. Never yeah. shake a bear. Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> That one's good to go. Quick, graham cracker me, somebody. Graham crackers. Grams. Crew, graham cracker. That's it.
Yeah! Oh, they melted! The chocolate, you're just gonna have to kind of like... Smear it on your Shmear. cracker, man! Smear it. Chocolate sauce! All right, I'm digging in. You guys ready? All right, yep. ready, here we go. Oh man, here we go. All right! Oh, yeah. mm. oh my God, that's good! Mm. This is, oh yeah. I'll tell you what, guys. You really can't beat having a s'more on a Montana fire. You know what this would look like if we were in the office? A huge mess. Plus, oh, yeah. we'd probably get ants. This is great. Oh. Uh oh, man down. Woo! Oh. I'm making a mess, guys, but. I got a little toast. It's Adam, delicious. this one's for you, old for bear. You, Adam. Filming base camp in the wilds of Montana was a fantastic change of setting. And if you missed the first episode, make sure to go back and watch as we review our classic encounter with the one and only Pine Martin. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure.